it is official. I officially declared the month of December Destiny Month. Why? Because I've done more Destiny videos in this month, all two weeks of this month, and I've done movie reviews like all last month. You know why? Because I love you guys, because you guys are awesome, and you like my videos, and you watch them, and we just have a great time, and that ain't nothing. Now, before I get started with this video, let me just do a quick shout out real quick. Let me do a couple quick shout outs. First shout out, I'm actually getting to my man Jeffrey Seaboard. You know, I believe his name is Stab. You are awesome, man. You're awesome. Second shout out goes to my boy Corey. Corey, I don't want to say his last name because I want to mess it up. He wears a red shirt. My boy Corey is your shout out. And the gamer chick I was talking about in my last two videos. Her name is Tina Sullivan. Sullivan. I like that name. Sullivan. Like Sully from Monsters Inc. <laughs> Go watch that movie. Your shout outs, guys. I want to make that real quick for you guys. I want to shout you guys out real quick because you're awesome and you deserve shout out. I'm not saying anybody else doesn't. So if you want to shout out, please comment below your PSN name and hashtag shout me out. And I'll shout you out in the next video. I will shout you out in the next video because there will be other videos. <clears throat> Just saying. And because I love you all. I had to decide. I was actually on the PS4 community page and everything. And I saw a topic that just really got my jimmies going. Well, I don't know what jimmies are. Are they lima beans? Is that what they are? That, that slang for lima beans? Because if it is, then my beans are lime and the wrestle topic of discussion was actually about should destiny have a trade system you know a trading system within players and stuff like that i already put my two cents on the page but now i'm gonna give you my 10 cents on the video because i think my i got my opinions on that destiny have a trading system between players and everything like that i i actually have the pros and cons to that and i'm gonna give you both my sides about it on the pro side i will say this i i i honestly Think that it sh it could happen but how it should happen there's layers to it as of right now as of right now this happened tomorrow right now i could trade in something or whatever for someone who has a galahorn and i would do that that you do it too you know someone has a galahorn right now you trade for it you know you would too don't lie uh, don't put in the comment box like oh i wouldn't trade for a galahorn i wouldn't do that i don't believe in that shit you you would buddy you would. I feel like if Destiny were to incorporate a trading system in the game, I don't think it should be between players. I think it should actually be like a vendor. And a vendor who actually trade your exotics in, he would give you strange coins. I think that would be more better. And how this is how I would do it. If, if I was at Bungie right now, folks over at Bungie were like, hey man, you, you, we need to, we want to put in a trading system to the game. But how can we do that? How, how can we do that and make it work? Here's exactly what I would say real quick. I think my initial thought is I think that we should have a vendor that comes Monday through Thursday. You can trade in the exotics you don't want or you have duplicates of it trade in those exotics that you get like maybe 17 or 10 or 20 strange coins for them have that guy disappear on the weekend so when the agent of the nine comes you can trade in those you can use those strange coins to purchase a new exotic from him and i'm really talking about exotic weapons the exotic weapons i've seen people with vaults upon bolts upon bolts of exotic shit and i'm just like how do they get that shit how can you be so lucky? Random number God, please bless me. I want the Galahorn. I want it. And I'm gonna put a picture of Galahorn just for the rest of this video because that's how much I want it. I, I want the horn. It's gonna stay here for the whole video. It's staying. Now, with trade off with that, it's I feel like exotics already have sort of a use for them if you're not gonna use them. Like, if you dismantle them, they turn into exotic shards. You can use them for that. Uh, so it would kind of make, like, uh, the vendor who you could trade those exotics for kind of useless because it's like, I could, they still have a use for them because of the exotic shards. But you could trade them in for coins, which you already get for weeklies and nightfalls. That's what I got anyway. I'm just saying for people who have like an overabundance of exotics, that would be a good way to for them to get like extra coins and stuff like that. Or just that, you know, just to get rid of it, to have a use for it. So the trading would be in there. Now, why I think that trading between players should probably not happen because you really could have like a person who just has everything and they could start charging people for it. Like, oh, give me five bucks and I'll give you this exotic or whatever. But that is bullshit. I'm not paying no money than I already am for some weapons that ain't real. Even if it is Galahorn. I'm, I'm sorry, Galahorn. I pay two bucks for Galahorn. Maybe two. Okay, three, just because I'm nice. I have heard people saying that that would crash the economics of the game, and I still don't know what that means, but I heard it would be bad if people started trading between players and shit. It would be like Diablo 3 and shit. That would be crazy be bad and i guess that's what it would be like all in all my thoughts on it are really cut and dry i feel like if we did have a train system in the game it should be it should be between a player and an npc and the vendor that shows up between monday and thursday you know you're training your exotics or whatever stuff you don't want he gives you modes of light maybe strange coins or whatever for them maybe even shards when the eight and nine comes on the weekend you know you use those strange coins and buy stuff from him there you go you got something be something 
Huh. Between between players, I don't think that should happen at all. I think it would crash. Destiny, Destiny's already fucked up as it is, and that would just be bad. But those are my thoughts on it. What do you think? Do you think a train system should be in the game? Do you think it should happen at all? Do you think it should not happen? Like, oh, there should not be a train system at Destiny. Not at all. What do you think? Put in the comment section. We'll talk about it, because I feel like Destiny shouldn't put that in it. But if they did, they should do it my way. I think that would be cool. But if you agree with the idea I have, and you want to get more into it, put that in the comment section, too. We'll talk about that, because I chat back with you, Guardians, because I love you. I'm not nice guy i don't bite much and like i said if you want to shout out in the next video because there will be other videos i promise there probably will be longer people still be talking about destiny i also have something to talk about so you'll get my 10 cents and that's that put your ps in the comment box with a hashtag Th that's not how you do hashtag is it i don't know hashtag shout out i'll make sure i shout you out go over everything and let's just keep these destiny videos going because destiny is i'm not gonna say awesome because people are gonna be like it's not awesome it's bullshit but st we're still playing it so whatever it is it's addictive remember guys subscribe until next time